Hi guys, so today I want to talk about Huel and why I think Huel is the perfect office food. Um, there's many reasons for that and uh, all of these reasons have led to me having been like a loyal Huel consumer for pretty much the past two years. So for those of you who don't know, um, the basic idea behind Huel is that it is a nutritionally complete meal or food. So it's not like a, a one of those like BS meal replacement shakes, but it's made from like actual ingredients. Um, it's nutritionally balanced. It provides you with everything you need. It comes in a powder form. So you only need to um, add water to it and then you can drink it. So the Huel product range at this point is, uh, is pretty big, but uh, I'm just gonna focus on the two products that I have the most experience with, which is the regular Huel powder, which is now in its like third incarnation, which is why they call it like 3.0. It's like a software version pretty much. And Huel Black, which is uh, the one that I have been using most of the time, uh, which is basically the regular Huel powder, just uh, in a gluten-free version and with more protein. So the first reason why I think it's the perfect office food is that it is incredibly easy and time efficient to prepare. You pretty much just need to take one of those Huel shakers that you get. This is like the like the original version and this is the one that they send out nowadays. Um, you get it with your first order. Uh, you fill it with water, you add two scoops of Huel, you shake it for 10 seconds and there you go. Like the bag doesn't need to be refrigerated, the Huel shake doesn't need to be prepared in advance or refrigerated. Some people do that and they claim it tastes better than I don't really think that's true. Um, so it takes you a minute and you can just bring this back to the office, you can just leave it there and then you can just prepare it as you go. You don't need to go to the supermarket, you don't need to go to like a lunch canteen or whatever. It saves you a lot of time. This also means you really don't have to think about what you want to bring to work, to eat, you know, like for lunch every single day. Uh, you don't need to go to the supermarket. You don't need to be like, oh shit, I forgot to, you know, buy or prepare food. Now I need to go to the supermarket. What am I gonna eat? Like, this is just all, you know, you can just cut all of that out if you just uh, drink Huel for lunch. This is, of course, under the assumption that you don't mind um, basically eating the same thing a couple of days in a row because this is a this is a pretty big bag, one and a half kilograms, so it takes you a while to get through it. Um, but I personally don't really mind. And as you will see, Huel also comes in various different flavors, so you can have some rotation. This brings me exactly to my next point is that I think it tastes really good. Of course, this is super subjective, um, but I've tried a couple of uh, couple of flavors and I think all of them are pretty good. Some of them are actually really delicious. So it always varies a bit what, uh, what flavors they have available at the moment. So uh, for the regular Huel powder, it's cinnamon swirl, vanilla, chocolate, berry, banana, salt caramel, coffee, original, mint chocolate, and unflavored and unsweetened. And I think I have definitely tried banana, which was really delicious. It tastes like a banana milkshake. Um, vanilla is really good. Coffee is really good. Chocolate is really good. Um, and for Huel Black, which I'm currently consuming, uh, there's cookies and cream, which is like uh, the latest one, which is so, it's so delicious. It tastes like an Oreo milkshake. Um, cinnamon swirl, which is a bit mad. That's what that one is a bit disappointing, I have to say. Um, vanilla, which is really delicious. Salted caramel is really delicious. Banana is really delicious. Chocolate is really delicious. Strawberries and cream tasted a bit too artificial for me, so I'm a bit like, nah, wouldn't have to buy that again. Coffee and caramel is really delicious and unflavored and unsweetened. I never tried, and they also say it's probably not for most people because that tastes really plain and I'm not really into that. The next advantage is, is that it is rather affordable. So the Huel pricing structure is a bit weird. Uh, you need to buy at least two bags, which, uh, which means that there is a pretty substantial upfront investment. For the Huel powder, two bags works out to uh, 65 euros, and for the Huel black version, it works out to 75 euros. This is, of course, uh, assuming you're gonna get the subscription, but you know, you can cancel the subscription anytime, even after just having gotten one order. So get the subscription. Huel also indicates a price per meal, uh, with one meal being two scoops or 400 kilocalories. So um, the pricing structure is a bit weird because it depends on the number of bags that you buy. It's a degressive pricing system. Uh, so I actually just uh, plotted this figure to show to you guys how that actually works. The blue line here represents the Huel powder, so the non-gluten-free one, and the green line represents Huel black. 
as you can see, uh, Hue Black is consistently more expensive per, uh, per meal, um, about two euros and 30 cents for one meal, which I think is still not bad. Hue Powder is about 30 cents cheaper than that. And both prices uh, go down until they uh, pretty much hit a sweet spot at like around eight bags, uh, after which the pricing price decreases are so little that it doesn't really make sense to order like up until the maximum of 16 bags but that means that if you ordered 16 bags you could uh, you could get the price down to as little as uh, 1 euro and 31 cents for Huel powder and 1 euro and 61 cents for Huel black so think about it you know like a whole 400 kilocalorie like lunch kind of thing for 160 or 130 um, that's really not bad compared to if I were to go out and get like a sandwich on campus, which is gonna be four euros and it has pretty much the same calories and it's less healthy. So so I think this makes a pretty good case for why Huel makes sense. Speaking of Huel being healthy, as I explained at the beginning of the video, it is a nutritionally complete food, which means that theoretically you could drink only Huel the entire day and meet all of your micro and macronutrient needs. So again, one meal of Huel is defined as uh, 400 calories, which for regular Huel powder is 100 grams of, uh, of that powder, which includes 13 grams of fat, 37 grams of carbohydrates, 30 grams of protein, and seven and a half, and seven and a half grams of fiber. And as we see, it's mostly based on, uh, on oat flour, pea protein, ground flax seeds, brown rice protein, and tapioca flour. And then there's just like a bunch of, uh, a bunch of different vitamins and minerals. Huel Black, a serving is 90 grams, so 10 grams less, but it's the same 400 calories. 18 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, uh, 8.3 grams of fiber, and 40 grams of protein. So what we see is that Huel Black, compared to um, the regular Huel powder, is higher a bit higher in fat it is substantially higher in protein and it's lower in carbohydrates and higher in fiber which is nice as well and it's naturally gluten-free because it's based on pea protein ground flax seeds brown rice protein tapioca flour so basically they just took the old flour out and just uh, put more of everything else in it um, which also means that the consistency is somewhat smoother um, which is also why i uh, why i prefer pure black so let's see if it's actually true that it's so nutritionally complete that you could eat only Huel a day and basically get everything you need. So let's start with the regular Huel powder. I'm just uh, adding it to, uh, to chronometer. It doesn't really matter which flavor it is, but I'm just gonna go for uh, vanilla 3.0 and it will be five servings, so uh, 2000 calories. And as we see, uh, you get a decent amount of fiber, uh, 35 grams. Um, you have uh, quite a bit of omega-3, um, omega-6, it's like uh, a bit less than uh, optimal perhaps, but still not bad. Uh, all the um, like all the essential amino acids are covered. Um, basically all, uh, all vitamins are covered. Um, just vitamin B1 is a tiny bit on the low end and so is vitamin A, but I think it's not really dramatic. Um, and all your minerals are covered. Now let's do the same thing with uh, with Huel Black. And by the way, it totally doesn't matter what flavor you uh, you get. The micronutrient values are essentially the same. Again, a pretty good amount of carbohydrates and fiber. Um, you're covered when it comes to your omega-3 and omega-6s. Uh, you're covered when it comes to all the essential amino acids. Um, the only thing that's low on the vitamin end is vitamin A. But again, it's 99%. So... Uh, I mean, I'm gonna let that slide. Uh, and interestingly, the only thing that's low on the mineral side is potassium. I'm really not so sure where that's coming from, but uh, I mean, assuming you won't do this every single day, I don't think it's a huge problem. So just like eat a banana and some potatoes and some real food on the side, and then you're absolutely going to be fine. So I think those are all the reasons I have for using Huel as a, as a lunch food, uh, at the office especially, but sometimes also at home. It's convenient, it tastes good, it's not that expensive, and it's healthy. Um, and it's delicious. I really have to say it. I really, I, I really think it tastes really nice, especially the new cookies and cream one. It's so good. So I'm wondering if you guys have also uh, tried Huel or other types of uh, meal shakes. I think there's like Soyland and Plenty. I've never tried those. I've only, I've always stuck to Huel. Um, let me know in the comments down below, and if you want to see more of my or our videos because sometimes my husband is here as well it's just i'm in vienna at the moment so uh 
he's not with me, unfortunately, then uh, subscribe to our channel, um, hit the notification bell so you will be notified when there's a new video available. And I'm gonna see you guys very soon.